Okay, we're at the Rural King. Gonna run in and see if we can't buy some chickens today. And see if we can get a good deal. Hopefully they got some older pullets because sometimes they'll sell them to you cheaper just to get rid of them because they're tired of feeding them. So some husbands bring their wives flowers or diamonds or cards, things like that. I've got a good husband because you know what he brings me home? Chickens. I went by the rule king, you know, pick up some odds and ends and stuff for here at the house. And when I did, uh, I went back through the chickens. And they always have the chicken days going on, but they get so big after a while and they think nobody wants them. So these ones here are already feathered. Heads are still a little fuzzy, but they clearing some out. <laughs> so I got seven birds for a buck fifty a piece, which I thought that was pretty good. So anyway, we got new chickens again. So not only does he buy me chickens, but he got a deal on the chickens too. So a double win. So if you don't already know and you haven't been following our channel, um, we had chickens, but something got into our new pen and gobbled them all up. Except for one. We still have Jesus. Still have Jesus. <laughs> Always need Jesus, right? Um, but the other ones got eaten. We think we know where they got in at, so we're fixing that, and then, yeah. But, we got replacements. Seven new birds. I'll never name the chickens, but I guarantee you when Boo gets over here, she will have a name for every one of them. So, for me, it's always, they're just the girls. Got any good names? Two... Well, we know who the loud one is. Two more in here. And last one. Normally I just use a block of wood or something just to lift their food and water up a little bit because they like to scratch and they'll throw the wood chips in their water and then the water will dry up. So we always lift them up. Um, usually we use wood, but this time we've got some tile stacking some tile up, putting it in there.
or like seeing better days. I don't know how old it is. It's kind of bent up, beat up, but I'm sure they won't care. And if y'all haven't had birds or had birds before, once they get to that size, they will fly up out of there. So I'm just using a old shelving grate. And we'll put that on top. So what's the plan? Well, the plan is, I'm just gonna drape this so we can do it. that will make them feel all right at home. <laughs> Tip when you got baby chicks for the light, for you to know if the heat is right for them. Um, if you have it too low and it's too hot, you'll see them trying to run away from the light. Um, if the light's not low enough, that means they're cold, they'll huddle up underneath the light and try to stay warm. But if you see them kind of meandering about doing their thing, then that means you got it just perfect. So keep an eye on the light, keep an eye on how your chickens are reacting and that lets you know whether the light needs to go lower, higher, or if you got it just perfect. But we just got them in there, so we're gonna leave it like this and then we'll be back to check on them to see where we're at on the light. Every batch of chickens, Boo always names them. Um, this batch, there won't be a Jesus because Jesus is still alive from the last batch. So, but she always names one in every single batch. One gets named Jesus and one always gets ba named Baseball Butt Nugget. So, I don't know why, but that one is stuck. So, one of these will be named Baseball Butt Nugget. And... We still have Jesus, so we have, she has some naming to do. And we'll be naming at least one of them from one of our viewers. So if you have a good chicken name, leave it in the comments below. I'll read them all off to Boo and we'll let her pick the winner. <laughs> 